Hi friends, I'm Olga Kölsch and welcome to my studio. Today I will show you different ways of painting greenery. Uh, in principle we are not painting a picture today, but we will paint different kinds of greenery which you could add to your future bouquet painting, uh, add some extras. It's always nice to know some tips and tricks around it. So let's start. For painting greenery, I do not use the bright uh, green colors. Uh, of course, you could use anything you like. I prefer to mix green color with one dark or any other brownish color to make it a little bit dusty. And how, how would, do we paint greenery? There are just a, a lot of different ways. For example, we start with the main branch and then let's say we paint in eucalyptus. I press a little bit on the belly of the brush and let it go. And on the another side, I press on the belly of the brush and let it go. That's how I get these. Um, a little bit roundish eucalyptus leaf for example again small stem belly of the brush and I wiggle it a bit belly of the brush you could always correct manually if um, you did not manage to make it in one go it's uh, completely fine to Corrected. For some variety, I I add a little bit of oxid red to another leaf, and let's try to do it again. A little bit press on the belly of the brush, let it go. I like to leave a little bit of white space in between it shows the big middle line and more and next one we will paint something very different so you could try a different technique I want to finish this uh, this branch and next one we will paint something more like grass for example with a lot of tiny little details for this one we are basically done so Next one, let's paint the uh, same color, something with a lot of tiny little details and I prepare a place for a cluster and with the tip of the brush, with small moves, I paint the first cluster. I imagine that the second cluster cluster will grow like this in this direction. And now I decorate it with the strokes and another cluster. leave a lot of white space it uh, makes greenery very airy very natural and maybe one more small preparations 
it looks like we paint the skeleton and then dress it with leaves. It really, it really asks for one more here. Okay, next one. I will show you a very lovely technique when you could paint it's maybe it's a little bit more childish but sometimes it really plays a lot so you paint just the outlines and it looks really modern and cool and for example if you paint a bouquet and then you want to add some greenery and if you do it like this, this kind of leaves, it will make your artwork really, really specific. And how you could play around here? You could make the outlines slightly bigger, slightly thicker. In some parts, It's nice when your outline is um, curvy, it looks interesting, you could add some shade if you think it's too childish, um, maybe one more. I like to add some curves everywhere and some middle lines. This one. Let's try something, something very abstract and very spontaneous. So I, I just preparing again my mixture of green. For spontaneous painting, it's nice to be ready and with prepared colors. And just with, with very brave moves, I paint something. I think it could be a bumbles, for example. It looks like a bumbles leaves, very sharp, very dynamic. Just like this. Let's try something, something new and something different. I, I will show you um, this branch with uh, thicker, uh, with the thicker leaves. I start with the tip of the brush. I press on the belly of the brush and basically I'm painting with with the body of the brush and I and I take a little bit different hint it's more dark and this will create a nice shade and I want this leaf have some texture um not this chip texture all these edges and another one with the body of the brush I just move my brush very freely I want to make it a little bit curvy, so I bring this curve up 
add some dark colors. And one more. It's nice if you paint two halves of the leaf in slightly different shades, lighter for example and dark like here. I hope you could see the difference. And it really then creates this nice lovely fold and for some structure when the lighter part is dry you could add some just a few strokes no need to Im imitate try to imitate all just few and then you get this nice feeling let's let's paint something more for example uh, let's try some something in between this So now I paint with outlines, but they are a little bit bolder. And this brings some variety. We on this stage add some, for example, darker brown to the stamp. It will distribute all this nice dark shade and look how nice and lovely it looks like. And these white areas they imitate their this curve of them of the leaf and for example what we could also do is to wash the brush dry the brush and remove all the color from one side of the leaf it will also create this um, not as crispy as here but it creates this nice volume let's paint something 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 funny for to close up the lesson let's uh, paint something relaxing you could make a lot of experiments and um, paint um, different greenery in different styles and it's uh, it's one of my favorite because you can't really do things wrong here and uh, greenery has such a lot of variety. You could just play around with brush strokes and every time you get an amazing, amazing, beautiful result. And for example, here it is still um, um, the paper is still wet. It's just the right time to add some dark spots for the volume. And here it is. We have a lot of different green leaves here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the process. I hope you will make a lot of your own experiments with painting greenery and you really like it. And subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.